Hello, my name is Michael Griggs. I am the Director of Clinical Services for BRAS. And over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to be going over the left panel of the Vivo 65. Uh, so this is the left panel. So let's go ahead and uh, get into some details with regards to what you're looking at here. Uh, this is the uh, um, air filter or air inlet compartment. It houses a couple of filters. Uh, the first filter is this black carbon filter. Uh, it is a carbon filter that uh, uh, can be rinsed and reused. Um, the manufacturer recommendations to change this filter is every year. Uh, but it is a filter that is uh, required to be in the device as it's running. So uh, make sure that this filter is in um, the machine. Uh, this is a white HEPA filter. It is an optional filter. Of course, it's for smaller particles. They recommend changing this filter every 30 days. Uh, but again, these two filters, one of them is uh, optional filter, the black carbon filter is required, and this is the air uh, inlet compartment that houses those filters. Okay. Um, this section here is the air cooling inlet, and this also houses a black carbon filter. Uh, the purpose of this inlet is in to entrain room air. It cools the components of the device. Uh, dust will collect on this filter. Um, so you want to make sure that this is also uh, clean um, and uh, can also be rinsed and reused. Again, recommendations for this filter is also to change every year. Uh, you will also find some dust that will collect on uh, the cover as well. So you want to make sure that um, this uh, cover also remains patent. Again, um, we're in training room air to cool the components of the device. So anything that's blocking the uh, uh, room air entrainment is going to uh, potentially have uh, an effect on the abil ability of the device to cool uh, the inside uh, components. Uh, the next thing is uh, this connection right here is for a nurse call uh, alarm system um, as well as a remote alarm. Uh, this connection, there are four types of facility connections, a normally open, a normally closed, a normally open with resistance, and a normally closed with resistance. But every one of those cables will connect here uh, to uh, the device and then the cable will then connect to the uh, facility um, nurse call alarm system. Now, the Vivo 65 has 365 days worth of internal memory on the machine. There is no um, requirement for you to have a memory card uh, inserted into the device in order to store that memory. Uh, everything is internally stored. In order to get that information out of the device, you can either do it by USB, which is the connection here. And this is a USB data cable that connects here. Um, but you can also pull that information by using a compact flash card. Um, so uh, the compact flash card looks something like this. And the uh, card uh, just simply slides into the machine like so. Um, that's about as far as it goes, and uh, then the device, you're able to download information under the compact flashcard. Uh, that information can then be uh, generated into a report form or analyzed using the, uh, the BRAOS PC software. Um, and uh, uh, that is basically uh, the left panel of the device. I appreciate your time over the last couple of minutes, and uh, thank you very much for listening.